The Snake River Plain of Idaho is relatively flat with the only high points in the plain being volcanic in origin with, for example, the cinder and spatter cones produced by volcanic eruptions during the last 15,000 years in the Craters of the Moon National Monument. These vents formed in not very explosive eruptions which range from completely effusive, like seen at the Fagradolsviak volcano in 2022, to moderately explosive, like seen at the Cumbre Vieja volcano in 2021. Craters of the Moon is one of the four active volcanic systems which recently covered fairly large sections of the state with a layer of black basaltic lava rock. Yet, these effusive to moderately explosive eruptions are not the only volcanoes in the state which could erupt again. I am not referring to a section of the Yellowstone Sura volcano which exists in Idaho, nor am I referring to the Menam Buttes tuff cones which explosively erupted around 13,000 years ago. Rather, I am referring to a series of impressive and steep domes which tower over sections of the Snake River Plain such as the Three Buttes, but also a series of similar features near the southeast corner of the state known as the Blackfoot Volcanic Field. In both instances, these features contain large rhyolite lava domes representing the highest silica content lava, which is often associated with highly explosive volcanic eruptions. The eastern Snake River Plain represents a weak area of crust where the Yellowstone hotspot progressed through over millions of years, producing voluminous explosive eruptions. This hotspot, like many others, does not only produce volcanism where it is centered, but parts of the plume trail, albeit in a weaker manner when compared to the plume center, in the direction of tectonic plate movement. This is one possible reason why both the Three Buttes and Rhyolite Domes in the Blackfoot Volcanic Field approximately align with the current location of the Yellowstone hotspot. In these instances, basalt magma intrude into the crust but remain for some time, leaching material from the surrounding crustal rock until finally evolving into rhyolite which at some point erupted. In the case of the Blackfoot Volcanic Field, it happens to be located at the very edge of a large region of slow tectonic spreading known as the Basin Range Province, with large fault scarps from this process being quite prominent. Thus, this spreading allowed for the region to act as a path of least resistance for intruding magma, allowing for the Blackfoot Volcanic Field to form. The Blackfoot Volcanic Field consists of three rhyolite lava domes, the largest of which is 6,700 feet long and 880 feet in height. It also consists of two deep volcanic explosion craters termed Mars, with their grown well Mar measuring 2,900 feet wide and 180 feet deep. Both Mars formed at the beginning of a single eruptive sequence which began 58,000 years ago as intruding rhyolitic magma interacted with overlying water, the water flashed to steam and exploded in what could best be described as a several kiloton TNT equivalent blast. As gas was released and an eruption plume towered 20 kilometers into the atmosphere, pyroclastic flows collapsed back to the ground and scorched the landscape up to a distance of 4 miles. As intermittent smaller explosions continued, rhyolite lava began effusing onto the surface along three points in a fissure at a rate of around 100 cubic meters per second. Throughout the remainder of the five-month-long eruption, parts of the lava dome would intermittently collapse, releasing pyroclastic flows and Merapi-type volcanian eruptions. While the Blackfoot volcanic field is dormant and has a low rate of eruptions, it could erupt again at some point in the most likely distant future. The second group of rhyolite lava domes are the three buttes which each tower around approximately 1,000 feet above the surrounding landscape being known as the Big Southern Butte, Middle Butte, and East Butte. While the East Butte and Big Southern Butte are easy to explain as they were formed due to the eruption of voluminous rhyolite lava domes and fairly explosive eruptions, with the East Butte forming 600,000 years ago and the Big Southern Butte forming 300,000 years ago, the Middle Butte is the odd one out. Instead, it was formed by large-scale uplift of a rhyolite composition cryptodome that never erupted onto the surface. While this volcanic group has not erupted in 300,000 years, I cannot truly call it extinct quite yet, so it best fits as dormant as it has only erupted three times in the last one million years. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.